Curl friends, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And oh, excuse the crown, I must have forgot that I had it on. I just filmed the full makeup video using a whole collab of makeup from Barbie, so I guess I'm just still in theme. Must have forgot. But today, I'm going to be trying a product that I feel like a lot of you already know and love, and I'm late to the game. So many curly people love this gel that I have actually never used. And that is the Kinky Curly Original Coiling Custard Natural Styling Gel. Eight fluid ounce bottle, it's black owned, and I got this from Target. The Kinky Curly Not Today is a conditioner and detangler. Between that one and this one, I feel like those are the two that everybody talks about. And the reason why I haven't really revisited Kinky Curly is because a long time ago, I tried the Not Today, and I remember not being impressed. For it being a detangler, I think I had a hard time detangling. Granted, that was like years ago before I knew as much as I know about my hair now, so I probably should give it another try. But I think because of that first experience, it kind of just eh, didn't make me too excited to try any other products. But that was also a time where I didn't even like gels. Okay, so if you follow my channel, you know a lot has changed because now gels are my favorite. So. Let me go ahead and open this up, and I'm going to refresh my hair today. I usually like trying gels, ooh, this is slimy. I usually like trying gels on day one hair to see how it looks, but it's not wash day, so I'm not gonna do that again. So I'm gonna be doing a refresh on this day three hair. It would've looked even better if I actually did it yesterday, but I did not. So I am going to re-wet this, and I'm probably gonna re-wet it even more than I normally do, just to kind of pretend to see how this does, on a soaking wet hair day. Now that my hair is damp, it says to apply to damp or wet hair, scrunch into medium sections, I always do too, flip head upside down to create more volume and body. So it has a souffle, googly, as I like to say, consistency. Whoa. Okay, so this like, kind of snot drip, I hate to say, reminds me of flaxseed gel, which is amazing gel, but the consistency is a little bit more gooey than the original Shea Moisture Curling Souffle. Oh, look at that. Okay, okay. So I'm going to just smooth this in. It's very slippery, very similar to like flaxseed gel. It smells like marshmallows. Love the smell. Wow, I'm actually getting some more slip in there even though gels aren't really supposed to have slip, but it's kind of detangling. I'm actually very proud of my hair for not being really tangled, even on day three. Smoothing it in, and then scrunching for definition. And just like that, we are all applied. I'm gonna let this air dry because I wanna see what kind of cast it creates before I diffuse. And then we'll diffuse to see the final look. One product, one gel. Let's see if it's worth the hype. And now we're back with a full, complete cast. So right now, my hair is exactly how I want it to feel, a little bit crunchy. So if you're new to the curly world, you might feel this and be like, ugh, this gel is horrible, it made my hair all hard and stiff. No. This is exactly where you want it to be. Cause now you have the shine, you have the definition, but now we're just gonna scrunch out that cast like this to break it up and make it even fluffier. When I do this, sometimes I just scrunch or I could diffuse and kind of move my hair from side to side to make it even bigger. So I think I'm gonna diffuse just to get that final look, but here's how it looks with a cast. I'm very happy with it. No lingering smell or anything. Definitely retained my length, so it's not giving me too much shrinkage. Let's see how big we can make it. Okay, so my hair is pretty much dry, so I don't have to do too much diffusing per se. I kind of just focus it on my roots or any parts that weren't 100% dry. But I'm just gonna continue to scrunch and break the cast. These are so 
some fire results. I knew I was gonna like it just off of the consistency alone. Like when I see this like googly jello, I know my curls are gonna like it. So because this is day three hair, it's not as moisturized as it could be. So I would be curious to see how this would pair with the kinky curly not today leave-in detangler first. I'll give it a second try. Try with the gel, the custard, and I bet the results are bomb. There's maybe like a 5% hold left, which I need to just let me know that I'm gonna get throughout the rest of the week, but it doesn't feel hard or crunchy at all anymore. So if you are someone that just gave up after that first initial cast, don't forget to scrunch and or diffuse to break the cast unless you live in a humid area or have kids. Let your kids leave the house with crunchy curls and they'll come home with soft curls. So let me know what you guys think. Do you already have this? Do you already love it? How late am I? <laughs> let me know your thoughts down below. Side note, this cute little jumpsuit is from Grind Like a Doll, black owned fitness brand. Love it. If you enjoy my YouTube videos, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every week. You also can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.